Okay, so by now you probably know that growing your email list is one of the most important things you can do for your business. Your email list allows you to stay in touch with people who want to hear from you, who are potentially interested in your services, and it allows you to take that relationship to the next level and stay on top of my, stay top of mind so that, you know, when the time comes to buy whatever it is you're selling and they're interested in it, you'll be the first person they come to. And today I'd like to show you how to, you can use Squarespace to grow your email list. And I'll be showing you six different ways to use Squarespace to help you grow your email list. So the first way you can use Squarespace to get more email subscribers is to simply enable their built-in promotional pop-ups. For that, you'll want to go to marketing and then click on promotional pop-up and you'll want to make sure to toggle this on so that the pop-up displays. Here you can change the layout, you can also um, choose whether you want to include a newsletter form or simply a button. A button would redirect them to a page on your site and a sign up for a newsletter will basically add an email sign up form within the pop up and it'll connect either to your Squarespace campaigns or you can also connect other services like MailChimp or Google Drive. I'll have a separate video that talks more about the promotional pop ups and I'll link to it in the description below. Okay, so uh, the next item on the list and the next way you can use Squarespace to grow your email list is by adding a newsletter block. And you'll see an example of this. For example, every time you create a blog post, let's go into the drafts and blog post template. For example, if you edit the post, you can insert the newsletter block anywhere within your post. Let's say we wanna add it here. And all you have to do is search for newsletter and give it a name. Like, uh, it's a good idea to name it like the name of your freebie and again you can uh, control what the text says you can click apply and under storage you can either connect it to Squarespace campaign or other services like MailChimp or use Zapier to connect it to like ConvertKit or Active Campaign or any other type of service and once you click apply uh, okay so let's quickly choose that apply and now you'll have a newsletter embedded within your blog post and you can add it to any blog post, any page uh, on your Squarespace website. Then another way to, and let's save this and come back to this. And let's say I'm working on this post and I want to add a sign up form, but I don't want to use the newsletter block and I don't know how to, uh, and I don't want to use Zapier to connect my email service provider. Well, you can use the code block and embed your email form. So in this example, I'm using Active Campaign, and when I click on integrate, Active Campaign will give me the code that I need. And all I have to do is press Command and K, uh, C to copy or Control C to copy, and then paste it in here. I click on apply, and then the form from my service provider is embedded right here and it'll go to the list I set it up and however I set it up in my email service provider. And when you save the post, as you can see, my form is in here and now all they have to do is type in the name and the email to get on my email list. Another way to use Squarespace to grow your email list is to simply enable the announcement bar. Now, let me go back to a regular page so that you can actually see it. But if you go to the home page, here at the top, you'll notice the announcement bar. And when you click on it, it takes them to a page with my quiz where they can uh, take the quiz and then sign up to get their email results uh, or the quiz results. And you can use this announcement bar in a similar fashion and just point them to the landing page to your freebie or like a page like this where they can do something else to opt into your email list. Okay, so the next way you can use Squarespace to grow your email list is to use an image block that points to your freebie. For for example, if you I edit this post, this is an image that I made in Canva that gives them a preview of what they will be, of they of what they will get. And once they click on this image, I've set a click through URL here under the design options that links to the page uh, that has the sign up form for that particular freebie. So once you save and let's click on that, 
and as you can see it'll redirect me to the page that I've set as the landing page for that template and here's the opt-in form that uh, where they can put their contact information to grow their email list then the next way you can grow your email list and this works extremely well if you're uh, just getting started with your website and you don't have a lot of content this is where you can use Squarespace um, cover pages while you're still working on your website I this is an example that I had while I was working on uh, my website and here they can either opt in when they click this button an opt-in form pops up which is just a Squarespace form that connects to active campaign via um, Zapier or they can click here as no thanks take me to the website the good thing about cover pages is that you can use them even when your website is complete and you can just use them as a welcome mat and allow people to either opt in and then continue to the website or to go straight to the website if they have already opted in. And finally, the last way you can use Squarespace is to turn a regular page into a landing page. So I've already showed you this website. It's just a regular page that uh, I've edited uh, to remove the heading and the footer from it. I used it as a landing page and now I can use it to link to, to link to this page from my social media profiles or when I'm doing a guest post for somebody. But basically you will create a regular page and this even works with index pages. You'll create a regular page and then you'll click on this settings icon right here and under advanced in the page header code injection you would enter this little bit of code that allows you to remove the header and the footer so that uh, it looks like a regular landing page. That's it for today's video. If you'd like it, I'd absolutely love it if you hit that like button and the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I post new video. And if you want to discover the secret to attracting your dream clients, be sure to head on over to my website brandedbossbabe.com. I'll see you in the next one.